Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here, we're nature, breathing in that beautiful prana, baby. How to drop other people's expectations off of you. Look, someone should have just given you a manual as soon as you came to planet Earth saying, no matter what you do, you're going to piss a whole load of people off. Can I get a hello there? And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Really and truly, what's going on? Right? I got a question in from someone who said that they are doing something their parents doesn't want them to do. Right? They are taking a different life path than what their parents had envisioned for them right and they're wondering what should they do and i get tons of these kinds of questions right but since this is a seven day vegan challenge right i'll share a personal story with you a lot of people used to say gosh ralph where'd you get your protein where'd you get your protein and i said don't worry about it what do we got here seven day vegan challenge we got wild arugula right plant-based protein plant-based protein, vitamin K, vitamin A, zinc, full of calcium, great for heart health, boosts your immune system, great for eye health, makes you see better, right? It does a lot for you, basically. And it's all plant-based protein, good stuff, right? But a lot of people, when I used to say, actually, I can get protein from plant-based sources, a lot of people looked at me pretty funny, like, huh? And it was hard, it's hard, right? When people don't really get where you're coming from. And I always tell people this, you don't wanna say, I don't care what people think, right? Because you do, right? We all do. We all sometimes wear our hearts on our sleeve and it can hurt us, right? The cat down the road protects me though. But it hurts sometimes, right? So, you got to really know why you feel this way. Begin to understand, understand and overstand why, why, why you are feeling this way because someone thinks this way about you, has this expectation for you, right? They're bringing something out of you and it's making you feel really funny, really uncomfortable. And you got to really know why. Right, that's the biggest way to drop other people's expectations of you. Why do they make me feel this way? Right, why? Okay, I know why, because they changed your diapers. Can I get a hello? <laughs> that is why, right? They gave you your first meal. Your parents are your loyal custodians, your guardians, your watchers and your protectors who take care of you, right? And that gives them an identity, right? So when they say something, or anyone for that matter, maybe it's a loved one, close friend, whatever, right? We take it close to heart because deep down, we feel they still control us. We begin to live our lives through them vicariously. So in dropping other people's expectations, you got to realize that yes, parents, friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, the cat down the road, they all just want the best for you. Can I get a hello there? It's just that sometimes like even the cat down the road gets very overprotective. They still feel you're so small and they forget that you have a unique mind, a unique body and a unique smile. And it's not like theirs, right? So you got to realize that, ask yourself, whose life am I living, right? Did I come here just to do what my parents want me to do? Did I come here just to be who my friends want me to be? Did I come here? You came here for a reason, right? We know that much, right? But the reason definitely wasn't just to follow the instruction kit of your parents, or was it, right? It all starts with realizing this, 
look at it this way. Let's just say you are changing into different outfits today, right? Let's say, okay, I bought you 10 different outfits to wear. One is purple, one is orange, one is even red, bright red, right? Do you know how that's gonna make you feel? Changing so many times in different outfits during the day, right? Now you're starting to feel uncomfortable. Now imagine if I, a close friend who usually sees you in just purple, sees you in 10 different outfits during the day. Now you think you're going crazy, I think you're going really crazy. Can I get a hello there? That's why you gotta have a perspective to see where they're coming from, but also to see why you are doing it and how it is making you feel and to realize you are here to please yourself. Mm, slow motion. Mm. I talk to people all the time who don't love themselves. They don't accept themselves because They've lended their ears to other people. Can we get a slow motion for ears? Mm. Slow motion. Mm. They've lended their ears to other people and now their voice, their hearing has been hijacked. It becomes very clear at a certain stage in your life when you realize that you say to yourself, is this what I want? Is this what I really want to do? Is it? You see, for a lot of us, definitely not. We know it doesn't feel good, but we're still not comfortable with owning our weirdness. You see, that's the biggest secret to drop other people's expectations of you. If you're crazy, well, if you're weird, well, you better start to enjoy it. Can I get a hello there? Because if you don't, you haven't therefore built the right amount of confidence to deal with other people's criticisms, other people's judgments, and other people's standards. People love talking about you. They love saying stuff about you. But that's what they're here to do because they're testing you to see if you are who you say you are. Mm. No slow motion for that. Though. That was hot, right? They're testing you to see if you are who you say you are. Many times I've talked about proving your weirdness, right? Where you start to realize that, okay, this career path, this life path is actually creating abundance for me, happiness for me right but you see a lot of us we haven't proved it to ourselves that this life path works so your parents might say go and work in a bank come on this is what joe did this is what diana did right this is what simeon did just random names here don't worry about it right and you're like maybe they're right right because it takes a lot of work to learn how to accept yourself to drop other people's expectations. I'll give you a quick tip though. You have to realize that when you can stop judging yourself, right? That what you are doing is right, what you are doing is wrong. Instead, go with the feeling of how it makes you feel you would you would now get more clarity on who you are more clarity on accepting yourself 100 percent and therefore the words of other people the words of other people you will hear them but not be governed by them can i get a hello there you will hear the words of other people but you won't be governed by them right so if you want to be an artist dancer, an architect, a lawyer, whatever you want to do, you can do it. But at the same time, you got to realize that a lot of people may not want you to do it because once again, they have a vision for you. But you got to ask yourself, whose vision are you living? Did you come to planet Earth to live the cat down the road's vision? Oh, you did? Okay, next one. Did you come down the road to live your next door neighbor's vision? No. 
don't be silly. Because what are they doing? Now, there are no brownie points, right? Look at it like this. 200 years, everybody's out of here. Except if you're an alien. Okay? And let's just say you meet your mum or dad or maybe a friend that told you what to do with your life in the pearly gates, right? And, well, everyone's just laughing, saying, oh, life was a bit of a ride, really. But you're not. You're crying a bit because you're, you realize that you wasted a lot of your life experience trying to please other people and live up to their expectations. And then someone comes along saying, look, there's no brownie points. Can I get a hello there? Because it's all a ride. It's all a magical journey. A journey which you've got to take 100% responsibility for what you do at any given moment. Right? You can't blame people unless you hand them over your power. And that's what you've done. That's what we do always. we got to start learning how to reclaim our power by realizing that, hey, if you go into the timeline of what your parents did, right, they probably went to a lot of clubs, they probably drank a lot, they probably did all kinds of things which you don't even want to know about, right? They did all of those things, but guess what? You weren't there to witness it. So realize this, you don't want to worry about people judging you because remind yourself you don't judge them and you didn't judge them when they were making all their mistakes. Mm. Can I get a hello there? It's one life to live. We aren't perfect. It's trial and error. You're going to go through certain situations, circumstances, and in a nutshell, a lot of people are going to have a lot of things to say. But you've got to ask yourself, who are these people and what are they doing? Who are these people and what are they doing? What is their intention for me? And that way you move forward. Listen to people, but don't be governed by their words unless they make sense to you. Can we get a, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we get a hello? <laughs> can I get a hello there? please. Have a beautiful day. We're out here in nature having fun. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy.